So I now have the ability to pull prices from supplier websites such as this one, Hobby Lobby product for $54.99, and I'm able to pull that 54 that price of $54.99 directly into Google Sheets. And I'm doing it using a function I created called get price. And basically this function goes to the site, scrapes uh, the data and scrapes this price off of the product page. Now, um, I'd like to show you how it actually works. I'm going to go ahead and delete this or how to use it. And basically all you would do is if you have some links in your spreadsheet, you just type equal, get price, open parentheses, then click on the link to get the cell, which is A2. And from here, you can just press enter and it will close the parentheses for you. And equal get price of A2 is going to be $54.99. You can then actually, rather than entering this individually, you can just copy it down by hovering the mouse pointer here and you can copy and paste the formula downward. Wait for these to load. It does have to read each website individually. And now it pulls the prices of these other websites, such as Zorro.com, where we have a product for $100, one cent, as it reads here. Home Depot, you can open that. Well, that's open in. Let me close some other ones I have here. Come back to this one. $43.98. Sam's Club, I won't click on all of them, but just to show you a few, at least $2,199. So this works with, so far, definitely with these websites, but it may also work with other random websites that you can try it with, that it may also work with those as well, based on the way that I program the function. So here's the thing, if you go to Google Sheets right now and you type in equal get price, it's not going to work. To use this function, I have to give you a, uh, little snippet of code and a script ID. It's very simple and all you're going to have to do is go to your extensions app script section of your Google Sheet and you're going to paste those two things in to that app script. I'm going to give you instructions on how to do it. It's a very simple process and once you do that you will be able to use my get price function in your Google Sheet. Then you can go to another Google Sheet and you can do the same thing on that Google Sheet if you want to use it on two Google Sheets so on and so forth right and it's a very simple quick one minute process to add this functionality to your Google Sheet now I do want to talk about some possible applications of it which is why I created this spreadsheet which is a general purpose spreadsheet it is not marketplace specific but it applies in general by having a selling price a referral fee which pretty much every marketplace has and then any other fees or costs that I might want to put in here Right, so let's say I was selling this product for $100 and I had a referral fee of 15%. I had to pay paying $15 fees, my profit is $30, and there's my ROI. Right, and if but let's say I have some additional costs, maybe $10, it could be shipping or whatever it is, then my profit is a little lower, of course, $20. So you see how this could be useful. Where if I'm selling this particular product, it was this product from Hobby Lobby, which is $54.99, if I'm selling it on the marketplace for $100, well. Clearly, um, by being able to pull the price directly from Hobby Lobby, I know how much profit I'm getting from this product right now. In fact, yesterday, when I first uh, looked at this product, it was actually $27.49. It was cheaper, and at that time, it was pulling that $27.49 in here. So this price was crossed out, and the cheaper price was here instead of the sale price, which means it was reporting an even higher profit at that time. So this is going to be the power of having this ability that you won't necessarily have to always go to the website and check the price to know about a price change because it can pull the price change in here to Google Sheet into Google Sheets instantly and right away straight from the website. Right? So I can see the application of this is going to be very useful uh, to a lot of you who are in uh, obviously who are in some sort of manual dropshipping process. The main thing is that if you want to get access to this, um, if you're watching this the day that I put this out, you know, in the early stages, this is a good, great time to get in while it's in its early stages and while it's, uh, you know, in its early stages. Get a link. It's in the description of this video because what happens is that when you get in now, you get access to my future updates because 
I will look into adding more, first of all, more websites. So if I discover that it does not work with a particular website, I might want to go ahead and add that website, right? That's going to be an update. I might also want to do other improvements uh, with what I'm doing as far as getting price data from these suppliers. That they're just other things that improvements that might be made. And so if you get in right now, then you will get those free updates as well. Now, I do have to let you know that it does not work with walmart.com or amazon.com as of today. Um, and it appears to me that those two websites actually block the ability to be scraped somehow. And it makes sense because if you think about it, amazon.com and walmart.com are two e-commerce giants. And so they do have the technology uh, and, and um, they have the amount of traffic, the large amount of traffic to where they might want to prevent that. So um, you won't be able to pull prices from those with my get price function. But there are other ways to get the price from Amazon using the import XML command, which I've done in one of my systems. I use import XML. Uh, and you press a button and it puts the import XML command for you. That's on uh, that's one of my systems on Amazon. So it might be possible to pull prices that way, but basically as far as using the get price function, which does actual scraping from the website, you won't be able to do it from Walmart.com or from Amazon.com. So if you're using Walmart or Amazon as suppliers, um, you know, sorry, right now it's not going to work with this get price function. Okay, you'll have to use a different method, probably import XML. If you want to contact me directly, just check the description of this video for my contact information as well. And if you want to get in on and get access to this technology right now, you can go ahead and do that because once you do, you'll be able to use it on any Google Sheet that you have. So I'm not offering you a Google Sheet here where it's only going to work on that Google Sheet. No, I'm actually offering you the built the actual technology okay the ability to pull the price from the link so that you can take it wherever you want and use it on any spreadsheet that you will need to use it on okay so this is an entirely different thing this is not me giving you a spreadsheet this is me giving you an ability to do something in a spreadsheet so I think that's in some ways maybe even more valuable than just a spreadsheet itself so um, you know just consider that and anyway I missed a mark this is Excel for Sellers, which is my overall project uh, providing tools for sellers using spreadsheets, unlocking the power of Google Sheets to try to create tools for us sellers to make our lives easier. That's basically what this is about. And I have other uh, related channels like for Amazon and then I have for eBay, Facebook, Marketplace, individual channels. But Excel for Sellers is my overall project project. Uh, regardless of what marketplace you're using so again um, i look forward to either hearing from you or seeing you around right here on the channel thank you and take care